Welcome back, IP6. I hope you're doing great. You're staying safe and you're staying home. Today is our last class together and we will just do the 3D software again, continue doing that program. Um, I hope that you have started with your uh, homework that I gave you last time. So make sure you submit and complete that homework and upload it on the e-learning system as a PDF. All right. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So let's go. Let's continue the lessons on the platform itself and let's open the program and practice. So just click on the link. You can see the link right here. So I have to sign in first. Once we signed in, we go to learn and just see all the lessons. Oh, these are the starters. Let's go learn lessons and see all the lessons. So last time we did the Batman button, so we can continue to the skull button. So let's open it. First step is it's explaining as usual. It's saying drag a cylinder in. So find the cylinder and drag it in. Next, it's saying scale it to two millimeters of height. And diameter should be 16 by 16. Next, we need a square or a cube, basically. Just drag it in and resize it also to be two millimeters in height and eight by eight. And we can move it to be inside the orange area. So we need another cylinder. We drag it in, resize it again to be two millimeters by two millimeters and keep the height as it is. So two by two. Two by two. And we move it to this area. And then we should copy and paste to the areas that we need. So we need four areas. As you can see, it's orange. So we just drag them. Okay, perfect. So now we have our copied uh, cylinders also. And now we need one more box uh, or two. 
but we need a, a four actually. So we could also click this one since we want a hole. Now we have to rescale it two millimeters of height and one by four. And turn it and put it in the needed spot. We can change that to be smaller grid system so it's easier for us to move it to be more precise. Now we need to copy and paste these shapes. Don't forget you can use the Alt key on your keyboard to do this. Next, we need this roof shape. We can find it in our shapes. There we go. Just drag it in and drop it. I should be three. And size also three by three. And we have to move it into the orange outline. And we have to also rotate it 90 degrees, also here 90 degrees. Uh, sorry, uh, 180 actually. So I'll do one more 90 and just put it right in the middle of this. Perfect. Next, select uh, all the shapes. So you can do Control A and group them into a single object by clicking the group button in the Menu bar. So we group them and we get this, but we don't have the holes. So don't forget, I will ungroup again. What you have to do is to you can group the base first. So what you can do is change all these to hold. This should be hold probably. This we can delete and select all and then do. So now we have our skull face. Great. Now we can go back. and move on to the next shape. So just follow the instructions again. Simply drag a cylinder in. Scale it as it says, two millimeters of height and the diameter could be 14, so 14 by 14.
And then we should copy and paste the cylinder and scale it to a smaller diameter. So what we have to do is just copy it and change the diameter to be five by five. And then we can move it. So this will make the ears of the bear. Of course, we can change the grid details so it's easier to adjust the ears to be more exact. Let's bring one more cylinder shape and make it as a whole. We have to change the size to be two by two. So we change that. Move it to the orange area and copy and paste, copy paste it to the newly given orange area which is basically the eyes. So we have one here. And one here. Next we have to grab the roof. Scale it to be height of two. And size should be two by two. And we move it to the orange area. We have to make it as a whole. Because we wanted to make the make a hole using this. We rotate it in 90 degrees. And we can move it inside. Next, select all. Oh, not finished yet, so sorry. Uh, drag a box inside. Change it to be two millimeters. And 0 0.5 by two, which is quite small. So you can zoom in, you can rotate it to 90 degrees and move it to the orange area. And then just follow the shape as it is. Oops. And now rotate the point to be follow the shape. We have one here and one there. And short it one more time. One here. Make it okay. The forty five degrees, I think. And one more, 90 degrees, we have the other side. Now bring in another cylinder 
make it as a whole. Go to the next. Change the height to be two. And the diameter to be 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. Now that we have that, we can move it. And copy paste it to the area that we ask the first. We can zoom in to see more. Paste it. And what we will do is our shape is a bit not perfect. So It seems I have a few too much many layers for some reason. I don't know why. Just give me a second, I'll fix this part and we can move on. Okay. And now, we can just move it a bit higher. So, apparently, I did the size a bit too small for the main. For the main circle. That's why the face doesn't fit inside, but that's fine. We just move it in. But when you're doing it, you can uh, take note of this so you can make it bigger hole. Now we can set it off. Uh, before we do so, this should, we should change it to be full as well. Now we can do them. Now we can see the face of the teddy bear. Congrats, you have done it. You can continue to practice with the other projects. There are many, if you like this program, you can continue and have more fun. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our class so far. That's all for today's class. And hopefully um, I will see you around. If not, take care, stay safe and good luck with the future and your future classes and I know you're 
um, IP6. So you're moving to Matayom 1, I'm guessing. So I wish you all the best for the new um, classes. And please don't forget to, if you have not finished yet, to send all the homework if you have not done it. And especially the last homework. The last homework is very important. I really need you to finish that specifically. If you don't do other homework, um, it's fine. I can cut the mark from you, but the last homework is one of the most important homeworks for this semester. So please make sure you send the homework on time. So I hope by the time you see this video, you have sent it or you will send it by today. All right, take care, stay safe, and don't forget your homework. Bye-bye.